Alright, welcome back to War Thunder. And a bunch of folks have asked me, why did I stop playing? Well, let me show you. We're going to take the uh, Jaguar out. And you'll see. This is a fundamental change to the game a little ways back. So, um, let me show you what's up. So, first thing. Uh, let's see, okay. Doing all right on destroying surface targets, you know. That's cool. Aircraft. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, aircraft is legit. Another service target over here. And wait for it. Move up to flank speed here. Yeah, that's legit. So, got a handy dandy little destroyer out there. And, see that? Uh, so 40 millimeter HE, which um, yeah, does does nothing. That uh, that's half a mile. This should have more than enough penetration to uh, shred this thing this close. And as you can see in the upper right, it does pretty much jack all. So, yeah. Let's try something bigger, shall we? Let's try the, um, oh, I don't know, something with a rapid fire 76. Let's try the uh, Albatross. Best sale of this. So. 76 and interesting because the uh, penetration chart for this is nowhere close to what it says on the wiki page so and this should not take four rounds i'm sorry one should do it but We'll switch over to uh, Prox Fuse. Got him. And what about that destroyer? Let's see, 76 millimeter HE, five rounds. You see that shit? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I actually did set it on fire. That's fucking shocking. But otherwise, it did nothing. So, what the hell's the point? Small boats? Meh. Does. Not great. I mean, seriously? Unfucking real. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's why I stopped playing. It, they nerfed every, all the small boats. So, you know, here's the thing I wasn't a big fan of the Colm, you know, but, um, PR-206 was good, Albatross, Jag, you know, I like, I like those, um, Asherville was garbage, but at least you could live with the A-10, because you had 240 mic mics, now it does nothing, LCS does nothing, um, all these boats are completely useless against destroyers, unless you get lucky with the torpedo, 
which is, I'm sorry, that's fucking crazy. So when you're looking at the Blue Water Fleet, it's like you've got, you know, all these things that you're going to see. Okay. Um, if you spawn in to anything that is, I mean, let's say you even spawn in at a 2 3 battle rig, right? You know, you're still going to end up seeing reserve DDs. And they're just going to cruise in and, and nuke you. And you can't do anything about it. That's the thing that kills me. It's like, I, I don't get it. I don't understand why Gaijin went this way. You know, it's like you've got a bunch of people in the forums saying, no, oh, we want realism. Yeah, they also want to fucking take hours to sail anywhere. And they also want to be invincible. And they got their wish. And so, yeah, fundamentally changed the game. If that's the case, why on earth would, you know, things like these be, um, well, you can't see it on mine because I've already unlocked them, but, I mean, shit, these were really hard to get. You know, these were way up there in, um, in cost of research points, and now they're completely worthless. I mean, shit, even the uh, Sata is completely worthless. Same, same with the Freshie, you know. I mean, they just don't do anything. So why the hell are they at BR-47? What, because basically I'm going to be able to do anything to another destroyer at or a cruiser at 5-7? I mean, my God. You know, you've got... Okay, so I'm going to... At 4-7, I'm going to see everything from rank 5 and below. It's crazy. Um, it's like I get one of those not being able to touch a armored cruiser, you know, but the destroyers were called a tin can Navy for the, for a reason. And, um, because they basically have no armor. So what the hell, Gaijin? That's, uh, that's the developer. I'm a bit pissed off and, uh, frustrated because, you know, it took a long time to grind a lot of this stuff out. And, you know, it was bad enough when they split the Blue Water and the Coastal Fleet. They don't do that for aviation. You know, aviation's got fighters and bombers. Um, so Blue Water and Coastal, why split it? Why nerf everything? It, it makes no damn sense. It didn't make the game more engaging or more fun. It made about half the people quit. And I'm one of those. So there we have it. Anyway. Just a little bit frustrated, but, uh, you know, hopefully the devs see this. I doubt they will. Um, look over at uh, Flip Stug's channel. It's really fascinating watching people play the new naval mode because they'll just sit there and park. No tactics. You know, they're either they'll YOLO, go straight in, or just park. And it becomes this game of, okay, who's got the better fire rate? Not really a game of who's got the better tactics, who's got the better aim, but who can throw more shells downrange. And, um, you know, they're going to stick with this because the changes they're doing to the battle ratings are reflecting that. Because, you know, you've got rapid fire on the U.S. side, so obviously those battle ratings are going up. You've got HE on the German side, which does nothing, by the way. I mean, HE, uh, 120 millimeter versus enemy destroyer it should knock some serious holes but it's literally not doing shit unless you hit these magic spots and it's like i'm sorry that whole compartment should be fucked at that point you know you drop a full salvo of 120 millimeter he into a compartment yeah that should uh that should take it out pretty easily and uh, the the old uh under the old damage model it did but this new damage model change it did in 2.7 just Fucked it. Totally fucked it. So, tried playing some uh, air realistic. and eh, it just seems like wash and rinse repeat. It just isn't that exciting. There's no, there's no real strategy there. Not like, uh, not like with naval where you had to really actually think ahead and, and position yourself appropriately. You know, there's these guys whining about, you know, oh, I didn't like getting killed in 30 seconds. Like, well, that's because you suck at aiming. And if you can't 
take out a small boat that's screaming around an island point blank range in less time than it takes for him to uh, disable you, then fuck you. And that's just my opinion. So that's just like, you know, my opinion, man. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting on with real life. So yay for that. But hope everybody's having a good one. Cheers.